Our other top story tonight, a new take on the exploding gun violence that we've seen in Portland. As the numbers go up, so do the number of patients trauma surgeons are having to treat. Fox 12's Bridget Chavez joins us live after speaking with the top surgeon at OHSU. Bridget, these surgeons are some of the first to feel the impact of what's happening on the streets. Yeah, Dr. Martin Schreiber tells me that unfortunately treating gunshot wound victims is becoming part of the norm at OHSU. And he says he first started noticing this increase back in 2019, right before the pandemic. More gun violence, more victims, and more families torn apart. These victims, they tend to be young. Uh, maybe they had dinner with their family, everything was okay, and suddenly they're dead. Since 2019, Dr. Martin Schreiber, the chief of the Division of Trauma at OHSU, says they've treated significantly more gunshot victims compared to years past. In the Portland area, our trauma population would increase about 5% per year. But as I'm saying, you know, this year it's around 20-25% and with a substantial increase in the penetrating injuries, the, the gunshots and the stab wounds. The most difficult part of it all? It's by far the hardest. It's the hardest thing to do in this job is to tell the family of a young person or even an older person that that person is dead. But Schreiber says if a patient makes it to the hospital, they are likely to survive. In general, we do everything we can and we just can't save everyone. It's not possible. Some people just can't be saved. But the ones that we do save, you know, really makes the job worth it. He tells me typically they'd see things level off or slow down during the colder months, but there's no sign of that happening anytime soon. The future is really unclear in terms of is this going to be a, uh, is this the new normal that we see these types of increases and more and more violence? It, it does worry me a lot. One death is too many. And we're seeing an increase and we need to do everything in our power to, to stop that. Schreiber tells me that OHSU is starting a new program now this fall. It's called uh, help to, to help these victims and their, their families. It's called Healing Hurt People, and it's already in place at Legacy Emanuel. Reporting live from Northwest Portland, Bridget Chavez, Fox 12, Oregon.